Fireworks are something that I'm running pretty low on. But in this episode, I'm going to make the world's biggest sugarcane farm. Combined with my creeper farm, I can now get hundreds and hundreds of fireworks. So I can travel hundreds and thousands of blocks without having to worry about running out of them. And to build this giant sugarcane farm, we are going to need a ton of materials. First of all, terracotta. Yeah, that's not enough. Wrong tunnel. White dye, light grey dye, sand to make the concrete, that's not going to be enough. Well, I just found a buried treasure by accident. And gravel to make the concrete. And finally, I'm going to need a ton of green dye and lime dye, which shouldn't be a problem due to my giant cactus farm. It just might take a little while for it all to smelt. Alright, I'm bored of waiting, so let's just go through the plan for this sugarcane farm. So right here is Farm Ocean. So far we have a creeper farm and a cactus farm. And I want to build the sugarcane farm right there. So whilst I'm AFKing in here, I can also get sugarcane. And I haven't really gone through how I'm going to do this really. So I'm going to build it similar to what I did with these other farms. And I'm going to build a sand block which is going to be 16 by 16 pixels and each pixel will be a 3 by 3 square just like this so basically I'm just going to build this but like on a much larger scale the sugarcane will be as tall as that cactus and you're probably wondering how I'm going to build the sugarcane because it's like 2D we'll find a way the first thing I'm going to do is build 48 blocks in that direction so that square is that pixel right there. I was going to build a couple more pixels so I just have a little bit of room to put some stuff on like all of these sugar boxes. We can also get rid of this cobblestone because we don't need it anymore. And now with the white dye, gravel and sand I need to craft a bunch of white concrete. And now I'm going to do with all this concrete is to build it all the way up. And that is build height. So let's place our water to turn it all into concrete. There we go. Let's grab some light grey terracotta and white terracotta and build this sand block. Okay, and that's half of the outline complete. And to speed things up a little bit, I'm just gonna BAM! Now the outline is complete. Had a little bit of deja vu doing that. And just to speed things up a little bit, I'm just gonna quickly finish the outline of the sand block. But unlike the cactus, we've got to actually fit in the entire middle. Because you're actually gonna be able to see most of it. So yeah, let's get building. Quick water break. Stay hydrated. Okay guys, and the sand block is built. Now we can actually start building the sugar cane, which is where we need our green dye. And probably not much of the cactus has actually smelled, because obviously I haven't been in the chunks. But, eh, a decent amount I guess. Definitely not going to be enough to complete the entire sugar cane, but it'll be a good start. Okay, and these are the five blocks that I'm going to use to make this sugar cane. And what I'm going to do now guys is mark out each point where I'm going to build every single stalk. So let me come back when I've done that. Okay guys, so that is where the stalks of the sugar canes are going to go. And I haven't really said this yet, but inside of these stalks is where the sugar cane farm is actually going to be. So I'm going to have pistons and observers, so every time like a sugar cane grows it will just get like cut with the pistons. They'll fall down at the bottom where there'll be like some hoppers and then they'll lead somewhere with like a chest. So I guess the only thing we can do now is build these up. And that is the first piece of sugarcane built. And I have to say guys, that is looking pretty cool. And if you're wondering what these like sticky out bits are, that's like these two pixels kind of coming out the side. But yeah, that is the first one done. Only seven more to go. And now there are only six more to do. And just five more left. But guys, we have five more left. And this 
is all the terracotta, sand and gravel that I have left. So yeah, so let's grab some more materials. Okay, and now I have an entire shelf box of gravel, sand, and terracotta. Let's continue building. But before we do continue building, guys, there's a few things I want to do. So, I did do a Neverite stream, and I got 57 ancient debris. So, let's just get all that smelled up. And whilst that is smelling, guys, let's add someone to the Hall of Fame. And that person is Fame Manity. Let me also give you a green die and your glowing sack. And there we go, another person has been added to the Hall of Fame. And if you guys want to be on the Hall of Fame, just like all of these people on the screen right now, all you guys gotta do is comment below your usual usernames and whatever down I'll put in your sign. And next episode, I'll choose someone else. And literally, it might just be you. And now that Neverite's done smelling, let's turn it into ingots. Make one more block of Neverite. Bam, and we now have 44 blocks of Neverite guys, which is just insane. But we need 164. Only another 120 to go. Uh... And also whilst I'm here, I'm just gonna clean up this overflow chest because yeah, it's looking a bit it's looking a bit full right now. So three, two, one, bam! That's much better. And the next thing I'm gonna do guys is add another sign my hall of milestones and that sign is 3,000 subscribers which we hit on the 14th of May so yeah thank you everyone for subscribing so let's continue building the giant shurikane and there we go that is another one built which means we are now halfway done building the shurikane and I think it's time we speed this up a little bit so let me just BAM! And now we only have three more left. But if I just do this and look at my creeper, turn around, and now there's only two more to do. Which are now built. And I have to say guys, this shoe cane looks pretty cool. Alright guys, but now that the shoe cane is built, we just need to obviously build the actual shoe cane farm. And to build this shoe cane farm, we're gonna need a lot of materials. First of all, three stacks of redstone, three stacks of observers, three stacks of pistons, three stacks of sand, two water buckets, a ton of hoppers, a shulker box of cobblestone, and the most important part, three stacks of sugarcane. And now we have everything we need, let's start building. So if I just put some sand right here, behind it will be water, on top of the water, there'll be cobblestone. Hang on, I've built this in the wrong place. The sand will go here, the water will go here, and the cobblestone like this, pistons like that, Observers facing not that way, this way. Redstone right here. Now we plant sugarcane on this block. And when it grows, it'll land on this block where there'll be hoppers, which will then lead over to here where there'll be a chest. And we've got to build that exact same thing all the way up. Let's get building. And there we go guys, I made the top. And now pretty much just copy this seven more times into every single stalk. But I think before I build any more farms, I'm gonna start the collection system for the whole farm. Hello there. Yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of mobs in these because I didn't line them up. Hello, bye bye. All right, and now that that's all taken care of, with these hoppers, I need to lead them somewhere over here. So I think what I'm gonna do is break out some of this floor. And before I do anything else, I do need to grab a few more materials, such as more cobblestone, birch stairs, and a few more light gray terracotta, white concrete, and white terracotta blocks. And also, whilst I'm here, I'm a bit stupid, I actually need 4 stacks of each one of these, not 3, but I actually can't craft any more hoppers or pistons because I'm out of iron. Yeah, I'm completely out of iron, so uh, give me a few seconds. Bam! 9 stacks of iron, just need to smelt it. See you guys in a minute. Alright, and I think the iron should be done now. Never mind. My estimating skills are terrible. Alright, now the iron's done smelting. Let's craft everything we need. And let's get this collection system built. So, there'll be birch stairs going down right here. And the reason I use birch stairs is because of like 
very much the most similar to like the sand block. So this is how the steps will be. And at the back right here is where the chests will go. Okay, and that's all the chests placed down. And now I'm just gonna break out the floor where the hoppers will be in each side of every stalk. And now that I have all these holes, it'll make it much easier to connect up these hoppers. So we're gonna have another line of hoppers on top of these hoppers connecting the chests. And now basically I'm just gonna connect up every single hole. So the hoppers on underneath every hole. And I'll just connect it up to these hoppers. So let me just BAM! The collection system is built. And yeah, there's probably a much cheaper and better way of doing this, but I'm too stupid to figure that out. So I thought hoppers would be the best option. <laughs> but yeah, it's a little bit messy down here. But I think it should work, so uh yeah, it's it's, it's fine. So now the only thing left to do is to build all of these farms in every single stalk. So let's get to work. And that is another one built. Ow. And I think to speed this up, I'm just gonna POW! And now this farm is now built as well. Now if I just go on top of my creeper, and if I just stand up here for a few seconds... One, two, three, four. Alright, I think that should be enough time, so let's just go down here. All the farms should be built. Yeah, I think they are. That one's done. What about this one over here? Is this one done? And... Yeah, this one's also done. And since the farms have magically built themselves, that means... I'm done. A giant sugarcane farm, guys. Is built finally. That took quite a while. Oh, oh. Um. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in episode 40. Peace.